but how have you guys settled in and where do you think your preparation is ahead of tomorrow's game? Yeah, I think, we, I think we're satisfied with our preparation. Um, yes, we didn't get um, the opportunity to have the matches being played, obviously because of the weather. But I think from a freshness point of view, physically within the guys, I think that's, um, that's a positive that we can take. Um, I think we've had good training sessions as well. We had a training session yesterday. There's an optional one today. Um, we've played at this ground before, so we kind of know what to expect. Um, so I think from a prep point of view, we're satisfied um, and we, I guess, as ready as we can be for the game tomorrow. How's it, Temba? Um, I think last time you played here was in October 2022 in ODI, and I think you guys got bowled out for 99 or something. What what are sort of the the, the learnings that you that you took from from that game? And um, also, if I may ask another one, have you guys decided on sort of the the composition of your bowling attack, um, two spinners or, or only one, or, or what's the thinking on that? So with, with regards to the team, um, we haven't decided on that yet. Um, that will be finalized today once we um, have a proper final look at, uh, at the wicket. Um, so um, all, options, all options are available at this point in time. Um, in terms of the last time we played here, um, I never played in that game. I think I was sick in that game. Um, but I think conversations have been had amongst the amongst the batters, just I guess being more being more clinical in assessing the the conditions and and adjusting our games according to that. I think tomorrow again, but probably as we've been doing the last couple of months, will be exactly the same. Um, let's assess the conditions and play and play accordingly. Not every wicket is going to be is going to be a bloom type of wicket where you can come out and hit through the line. So I guess it's just being more. Um, savvy from that point of view. Uh, I think that's just going to be the order of the World Cup. Um, I think what my experience of playing in India is that you can get different conditions on, 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 on any given day um, and if you, you can be caught sleeping if you're not, if you're not aware of that. Timber, um, one of the interesting things that you mentioned before you guys departed is that you actually want to strike a balance between playing winning cricket and starting well, but also probably not, I almost want to say, overheating, you know, not peaking, you know, at the wrong time. I just thought that was an interesting concept that you guys have been sort of like discussing and what, what is the key to, to sort of like playing winning cricket but probably not peaking too early in your tournament? So I think in terms of peaking, I don't, I don't know if that's something that we can really control, to be honest with you. Um, in terms of starting well, there's always been, you know, a focal, a focal area. Um, around us as a team. Um, I mean, we've spoken, spoken a lot about that. We've tried to find practical ways as to how we can start well. Um, we haven't always started well, um, to, to, to be honest, but the, the focus um, and the awareness is there. Like I said, you know, with the World, with, with the World Cup and playing each team one, each team once, um, any team can win on the day. So if you're not if you're not there on the day, you can't get caught with your with your pants down. But I think in terms of the conversations that we've had within the team, I honestly don't think nothing is going to change for us. It's all going to be about the the process, as cliche as it be. Um, we want to go out, see what the conditions are saying on the day, and play accordingly. But most importantly, play accordingly to how we'd like to play our cricket. Um, you would have heard the guys speak a lot about the brand of cricket. Nothing really unique to us as a, as a team. All the countries are playing in a certain way. And I think for us, that's our biggest challenge. How can we keep um, churning out those type of performances game in, game out? Hi, Temba. This is Pratyus from Indian Express. Uh, with ODI cricket being 
uh, there's a lot of debates going about the future of ODI cricket because of T20 and all. Uh, for a for a national team captain, how difficult it is for you to motivate uh, cricketers to, to keep playing for their country because uh, we have seen Quinton de Kock before the tournament, he has announced that he will not be playing uh, ODIs after this. So for, as, a, for, as a captain, how difficult it is for you to motivate uh, players, youngsters to play for South Africa before uh, instead of picking leagues? Yeah, I think it can be, it can be a tricky or challenging one. Um, I don't know if it's my job as the captain to inspire the guys to play ODI cricket, but I think my biggest thing is that when the guys have that opportunity to play for the country, that they give it their all. Um, it's becoming tougher and tougher for, I guess, guys to, to overlook the, the opportunity of the lucrativeness of, of, of playing in franchise T20 leagues. Um, and that's just the, the real thing. I think organizations around the countries, um, at least for Cricket South Africa, what I know, are trying to, to get ahead of that trend. Maybe that trend is already, is already gone, but they are trying to accommodate those individuals who have those um, opportunities of applying their trades outside of just playing for South Africa. Um, but yeah, I think for me, it's when you're within the team and you have that opportunity to wear that patch that you do it with honor, you do it with pride, and you don't take anything anything for granted. Um, yeah. Timber, you talked about the different conditions you expect in India, uh, but you have a very pace-heavy attack. So could you shed some light on that attack with KG, uh, Lungi, and uh, Lizard also coming in right now? Could you talk to us about the roles that you have for these players? It's a, uh, you have five paces with your team, so uh, could you talk about the, how exciting is that? Do you sh go surely uh, by their pace and potency or do you even take the conditions uh, in conditions, in consideration? Yeah, I think, I mean, with the South African tech, you know, as, as predictable as it may be, we'll always kind of lean to to, to planning around our fast bowlers. Um, that is our strength as, as, as a South African team. Um, so I think that's no secret to anyone who'd be planning against us. I think with that being said, you know, where we have a guy like Keshav, guys like Keshav, guys like Shamsi, that does um, give us our opportunity that when the conditions do speak to playing um, more than one spinner, we do, have, we do have guys who can step in and do that quite well. But I think the biggest thing, like, like you said, is the, is the conditions. Um, and trying to put together a team, trying to put together a tactic that speaks to those conditions and conditions that we can exploit um, as, 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 as best as we can. Temba, I think all of us in this room know of South Africa's history at World Cups, and you yourself have been on the sharp end of some of those disappointments. I'm sure there's expectation on your shoulders now. You can probably feel it coming from home and everywhere, but what does it do that I think it's fair to say South Africa coming into this tournament is probably people are talking about other sides a little more than they're talking about South Africa uh, in terms of chances of winning it. So what does that do to you or do you just blot all of that out? I think most guys will tell you that they try to block it out. Um, I think it's probably impossible to, to block out that, that noise, if I could say. Um, that expectation, that pressure will... I think we'll always be there. Um, it'll obviously be heightened when it comes to, to a World Cup type of event. Um, I think I, I took a bit of comfort at, the, at the, cap, the captain's dinner when I heard the other captains speak about pressure and kind of hearing and understanding that the emotions and the effect is all the same for all of us. Um, so I think the biggest thing, at least for myself, is to accept that it is what it is. Um, as a South African team, we know we're going to have that um, chip in our block or that narrative that we have to that we have to get over and I mean that's never that's that's always going to be there until we win a silverware um, or we win we, we, we win a trophy so I mean that the guys we understand we're not oblivious to all of that um, but I think our biggest way of, of dealing with that is to is to be fully focused and obsessed um, in each other in ourselves and how we want to go about doing doing our work um, on the field. Uh, we understand that it's going to be a process. It's a process of nine games, getting through those group stages, um, getting into the playoffs and 
there's almost a belief that once we get into the playoffs, anything can happen um, and things can really go can go in our favour. Um, but look, that pressure, that expectation, Telford, um, that's always going to be there for us as a team, for any pro tiers cricketing team. Um, that's something you just got to deal with, I guess, however way you are. Kamal, uh, hi. Uh, do you think bowling is still a concern for you guys a bit, considering you gave away some runs during the warm-up? I think the bowling, I wouldn't say it's a concern. Um, I think, yes, there's areas that we can, we can improve on. Uh, we always try to judge ourselves on the three different phases within the game. And I think we haven't had a lot of instances where in all three phases, being the power play, the middle and the death, where we've dominated as a bowling team. So from that point of view, I do believe that there's, um, there's room for growth. Um, and I mean, the guys are aware of that. Um, don't think it's a, I don't think it's all a skill thing. You know, the guys put in the work that they put in within, within the nets. Um, I think it's probably more from a mental point of view. Um, guys getting themselves into spaces where they can play, they can play their best cricket. Um, but I do. I do believe it is a team, team effort type of thing. Um, there's days where the batting attack won't fire and we're going to need the bowlers to come through and vice versa. At the moment, maybe it's the batters who are, who are firing, um, who are taking on that responsibility. Um, but yeah, there is um, room for us to improve within the bowling, bowling front. Awesome. Can I take a last question? from the Tribune. Does it help for, a, for your team to not have the favourite attacks going through the World Cup? Does it help? I don't think it really helps um, because, I mean, we have our own pressures and expectations, um, our own as a team, but also ones that come from, from, from outside within the team. So, I mean, whether you're the favourites or not, um, I don't think it really, it really matters. Um, I think the, the challenge will always be for us to go out and play our best cricket game in, game out, um, and that's where that um, pressure or expectation is. Uh, sir, my question from you is, Hendrich Klassen is in a very rich vein, a run of form. How crucial, how great he will be in, in conditions against pace and spin alike? Because he's taking down everyone right now. One of the best out now. Yeah, Klassen is walking on water at the moment, um, the way he's been betting. Um, he's obviously a big player, a big player for us. He's been part of our group for a number, a number of years and... You know, he's, 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 he's truly shown why there's been so much faith and backing in, in his ability. Um, obviously, he comes in and he marshals that middle order um, of, of, of our batting. And I guess his success, not to, not to take credit away from it, but his success is probably large to, is largely due to the platform that he gets from the guys who come in just be at, at the top of the order. Um, whether it be Quinton, whether it be myself, whether it be Rassi at the top three. So I think it's important that those guys do their job. So guys like Klaassen, even a guy like David, um, Aiden, um, can go out and, and do what we, what we expect and want them to do. Tema, I know you talked about that there's obviously some tweaks that can still be done in terms of the bowling department and stuff. But um, you must, well, it's actually a two-part question. Just like... Um, how useful was it to play in different conditions against Australia at home? And also, you must be you must be pretty encouraged that even though there are still some there's still some work to be done, you guys, particularly in that those last three games, were actually quite potent. You know, you took your wickets. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the way we performed in those last three ODIs in that series um, epitomizes us as a, as, as a team. Um, Again, we started slowly within, within that series, um, but we managed to, to pick it up. So, and I think, like you say, within the bowling, there were definitely improvement um, within, within our bowling, um, within the process of within the bowling. Um, I think if we look at, I mean, the death, we were always going to be put under pressure, the way the guys, um, David Warner, um, the way the, um, Travis Head, they came out and played, Marsh, they came out and played in the power play. They were always going to put put us under pressure but I think that in honesty has put us against has put us in good stead um, we don't believe it will get any tougher than that um, I think Australia were getting about 90 in 10 overs we don't expect teams to be getting more than that so 
I think we were really stretched from, from that point of view. Uh, middle phases, you know, the way we went about it there, we really, we really improved and we hardly get to, got to situations where we were bowling in the death. So there was definitely an um, upward trajectory within our bowling in that series. Um, and I guess for us, it's just to continue um, with that momentum um, and keep, 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 keep getting better. We'll always be chasing that perfect game, not just within the bowling, but within the batting. Um, and until we can be able to sit there after a game and say we've ticked all, all the boxes in the different phases, um, we'll be happy. But until then, our Lord has come into the press and say there's room for us to improve. Uh, Temba, what uh, what positive or strength that you that you see within your squad? I mean, what does South Africa has that no other team has in this World Cup, according to you? Yeah, I think it's probably not so much from the skill point of view because I think all the teams have match winners within with w at at their disposal, whether it be batting and bowling. I think for us. I think the biggest thing is our is our character. Um, you'll hear a lot of guys speak about our resilience. Um, I think that's something that really stands us in good point. Um, there's also a a willingness or a want for or a desire from guys to to put in the big performances from the team. Um, that's a, that's at least something that I felt in the last couple of months. So I think that's something that we'll be leaning that we'll be leaning towards. Guys, not. Um, shying away from those pressure moments, going to, go, going towards them, um, and really grabbing, grabbing the opportunity or the game by the scruff of its, scruff of its neck. Um, so I think, yeah, more from a, the personality of the team, I think that's probably where our our strength is, um, our resilience and our willingness and desire to to make a play for the team. Uh, Temba, you, you spoke earlier about you know you guys really you know. Knowing about the the psychology of everything, and, and that you will only you know shake uh, shake all the tags that you have once you win a tournament. I was just wondering when you guys speak about this, um, do you ever use the word choke? Uh, I've used it a couple of times, um, but you don't really hear it um, coming about within the team. Um, and I think there's guys who believe that it's that it applies to this team. There's guys who don't believe that it applies to this team. And I think the belief that happens amongst the team, I think that's the most important bit. Um, I bring it up to just make sure that we're not kind of skirting, um, skirting around the issue, that it's something that is there. It's something that we'll always have to deal with. So mentally make sure that you know how you're going to deal with it. Um, but again, it's just that acceptance that it would always be there within, within the team, within this group, within guys who are to come, hopefully they don't have to experience that. Um, it's something that will just exist, I guess, for as long as we do what we need to do. Great. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you.